triple decker burger with roasted vegetables and a cheese sauce. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh. Katie, for you, uh -huh. the food processor. I yes. brought it out. I love it. Yeah. And I'm going to take a classic mirepoix, actually, which is um, carrots, celery, and onions. I like red onion for this. I like red onion on a hamburger. Me too. People and on my parts. tuna sandwiches. Yeah, absolutely. Pulsing. So I'm into the pulse with this because we're mixing and pulsing. Equal parts carrot, celery, and onion. Okay. That's what I, I do for this. bolognese, you know? Yeah, it kind of, you're right. I didn't think of it, but it absolutely heads in that direction. Ooh, this is strong. This nice mix of vegetables, right? <laughs> I know. It's so beautiful, Phew. Alex. Salt, pepper. I'm tearing up. This is making me so happy. <laughs> Salt, pepper right on top here, and just a little bit of canola. I actually don't want any olive oil taste in this dish. I know it's, it's controversial, okay. but I'm mm -hmm. doing it. 375, 12 to 15 minutes. We want to get this nice and caramelized and cooked through. So it's not cooking, it's like melting, right? It's just coming together. It's you want a crunch. Do you want a crunch? A little crunch, and you want a roasted taste, which is why I went a little higher on the heat. I find low heat and neglect is the, the great way to get a good cheese sauce. So low heat, I've got a cup of cream here. This is shameless. Just a teaspoon of hot sauce and a, a tablespoon of soy sauce. Ooh. A tablespoon of Dijon because I might put mustard on my burger one day, so we'll just sneak it in the sauce. And a clove of just grated garlic. Whisk, very relaxed. You know? Shredded cheddar, about a cup. Burgers, nice. cheddar, makes sense. Six slices of American. Yes. Will not gonna, apologize. There it is. I'm going to clap for that. I think that a burger needs American cheese. It does. Um, I just put the six slices of American there, and now, very low heat, I'm just going to let it hang out. I have a pound and a half of ground beef, which I've just spread out on a tray. I know we, we often do burgers in a bowl. I like to spread meat out when I season it so that you don't work it a lot. So smart. And then I just kind of group it to get an idea of how many burgers I'm going to make. For a pound and a half, I get about 12 patties. So you can kind of portion and group ahead of time by doing a little squeeze once you've seasoned it. But you notice we're not working it a lot. That you, gives you a really good texture, right? I think it makes the meat appreciates you, you know? So I literally don't work it a lot. You want to start out flat. Jeff, I feel like this is something normally that I would watch you make. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a giant fan of the smash burger. Quite frankly, I'd rather have a smash burger, triple, triple deep, than have a big pub burger, you know, medium 100%. rare or whatever. I want, like, that fast food vibe with the, with the beef skirt on the exterior. Oh, that's oh. the sound. Right on the griddle. Oh, it's you? like being at a diner, and you get that good diner burger that's oh, yeah. on the griddle. Where the home fries and yes. the bacon cooks. All the little crusty bits. Absolutely. Mm. Right on the grill, space between each, pretty flat. We're going to smash them down a little bit with a spatula as they cook. Space between as much as possible. But once you put them down, don't touch them. Oh, please, I love this. So here is my little vegetable roast after about 15 minutes in the oven. And then we're going to start to just build our little condiment. And this, I'm telling you, it makes you think of all the other great American beef dishes we love, and it's a more unusual condiment. These burgers, we're just going to give them a little flip. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, That's why a griddle is the best for a burger. I even take my griddle and I put it outside on the grill. Like yeah, yeah. Burgers. It's the only way. Uh, chopped pickles and a little bit of the juice, because we want this, to, this vegetable mix to be juicy. Mix it a little bit. Some ketchup, which I'm not going to fully mix in, but just kind of leave it a little. These are thin. This actually, it's not a lot of beef, as Jeffrey would say, you know? This is just an innocent little amount of beef. And then I just want to come back to the cheese sauce that was just kind of hanging out on the stove. Um, I let it just melt a little bit. You didn't even whisk it once. Oh, let's see yeah. it. Oh! Oh. Yeah. I like that it's a thin cheese sauce since you didn't do a roux. It's like, that's the texture. I feel around the sandwich king, I have to build my foundations properly. Yes, please. I'm just. So I'm well, going with first, the first patty <gasps> right up in against. The cleaner. Nice. And then a little bit of these vegetables. This gets messy. 
it really, you, you just, you gotta lean into the fact that you're gonna wear a bib or a smock or like maybe a raincoat. Or Messi's eat it in the okay, shower. Messi's okay, it's a cook out of control, Alex. And I kind of build them a little lopsided. One hamburger leans a little bit in one direction. Huh. And the other, more of that vegetable. Oh. More of Man. that cheese sauce. You said out of control. You, Get you, out of control. One more? Right? One more, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then just a touch more of this. I mean, it's not a salad, so don't get crazy. <sighs> out of control. That is an out of control cookout. And then get that. Ooh. Just make sure, you know, little poke with the spoon to make sure it's gonna stay together. Jeff. I don't want my sandwiches falling apart when you're around. You, you, this sandwich can do anything in front of me right now. A sandwich of this caliber will never fed me. Wait, one last thing, which is a little bit of ice water onions oh, that have those. been soaked. Because actually, Jeffrey and I were discussing this. You would normally maybe have a little iceberg or something juicy. But if you if you ice water soak some onions and they're they're kind of juicy. Wow. Thanks for the shout out, Alex. Wow. <laughs> and then and then you just have, you know, a tub of this cheese sauce on the table because maybe you're having more. It's and a cheese you might boat. be having fries and there you can dip goes. your fries. And then you oh, squeeze. A, over the, <laughs> you are just mm. something oh, yeah. else. Oh my God. Oh yeah. You know what's really good? The pickles plus the vegetables. I've got cheese sauce everywhere. The cheese sauce, the American cheese, the vegetables and just the beef.